Hello there, Clayton Stuffelby and PFR Agronomist with Vex Hybrids. Today I want to talk about a new trial that's in our 2025 PFR book. That is anhydrous ammonia trials by row cleaners. So in this trial, we're taking a Case IH 5310 bar. In the fall of 2024, Yetter Manufacturing out of Colchester, Illinois, provided row cleaners that were mounted to the shank of that row unit. For the fall of 25 right here, we've got row cleaners that now mount up ahead in front of the coulters. So what that does is allows me to be able to see those from the cab if there's any plugging or adjusting that needs to be done. They've also added row, uh, air cylinders to those units so I can lift them up to the cab and fine tune those from the cab if I need to add any down pressure in various conditions in the field. It also gives me the ability to take an older machine like a Case 5310, very, very popular bar out there in the, in the marketplace, um, even though they're older, and being able to add row cleaners to that bar and then make strips that are comparable to higher end uh, strip tool machines that are out there. In this trial, we made those strips in the fall of 24, and then we planted directly on top of those strips in the spring of 2025. Very simple trial here where we had row cleaners versus no row cleaners. In that data set from the 2025 growing season, we've seen a five bushel gain from one field, a bushel gain from another, and then a three bushel gain from the last field, averaging out about a 3.1 bushel gain for the row cleaners added on to that strip till bar. What's the advantages of that? Well, number one, being able to take the residue that's on top of the soil surface and then pull it out of the way from the shank in the sealer assembly on the anhydrous ammonia bar. And then coming back in the spring with my planter and just taking the row cleaners on my planter and taking the top of the berm off and then planting directly into a residue free trench. In the fall of 24, we had much tougher conditions than we've had this year in the fall of 25. Uh, the strips weren't the best in the fall of 24. We were able to plant into those strips in the spring of 25. This year we've made beautiful strips. I've got three of those locations made today. Uh, we've got one more to do. Conditions have deteriorated a little bit here. Uh, the last location we'll put in uh, will be a little bit tougher conditions than my first three locations. I'm looking forward to the data set coming in the, in the fall of 2026, but the data this, from this season is very, very promising going into the 2026 growing season. So stay tuned. I will provide some insights in 2026 as I start to plant across those strips. Thanks for tuning in.